Thank you so much. This is the Monday edition of the country's number one television breakfast show. There's plenty to look out for on the show. Much later, around 7.45, we shall be having your Samwanza in studio as we talk sports. Remember that the Four Nations tournament kicked off with the Chipolo Polo facing off Zimbabwe in that particular game. Did you say 8.45? 7.45. 7.45. Yeah. Yes. Time difference. Yes. Yeah. So we shall be getting to that a little bit later on to get the details. So do stick around with us on that show, on that aspect rather. Now, Recently, obviously, we right now in the studio, we're joined by the Mines Minister, Honorable Paul Kabuswe. Uh, now, uh, President Haka Inde Hichilema officially handed over Mopani Copper Mines to the new investor, International Resources Holdings. However, there's talk going on around uh, that the mine has actually been sold, uh, obviously, in reference to what happened in the 80s, all right? Mm -hmm. And so now the minister is with us in the studio just to get a little bit of some detail around it and just uh, break this falsehood that is uh, seemingly oh, being yes. spread out there. Minister, good morning. Morning, morning, thank you, and morning to our uh, viewers. Good morning. Good morning, Honorable Minister. Yeah. How, uh, much, uh, how much was the cost of the mine? First and foremost. At least we must know the price. How much was the price? <laughs> so let me, let me say this before <laughs> yeah. anything else. Number one, we did not hand over. Mm. Okay. So that is also a misrepresentation yes. of, of facts. Yes. What happened is we've entered into a joint venture mm. okay. with uh, IRH, mm -hmm. meaning you Zambians, you own the mine partly and they own the mine partly. So the, if we are in a JV, mm -hmm. uh, you haven't handed over anything to anybody, isn't You're it? You're sharing it. Exactly. What's the shareholding like? It's 49 for us and 51 for them. Why, why not the other way around? No, uh, because what has happened now is that um, we had a mine uh, you know, on this side, mm -hmm. the, the very, you know, uh, uh, popular statement that no, Zambia owns Mopani. Mm -hmm. We were given an asset. It's like I give you that cup. Yes. Then I tell you that you still owe me um, the value of that cup. Ah. So you get the point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It means you don't actually own that own cup. cup. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happened was after all those uh, wrong Glencoe deals were signed. Mm -hmm. um, Glencoe said, you are owing me $1.5 billion. Mm. And by the time uh, 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 UPND came into power, the debt had actually increased to $1.7 billion. Oh, wow. And uh, what used to happen was when Mopani is mining, there was no copper which belonged to Zambia. It's actually the Glencoe who used to decide how to sell it and where to sell it. Even when you are say, selling any furniture in an office at mm -hmm. Mopani, mm -hmm. unless Glencoe approves. Okay. So there was literally, in, in the real sense, there was nothing for, there us. Was nothing for us. You know, we were losing, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, during those days, I, I don't want to go so much in the past because we have patched up our yes. differences yes. with Glencoe, but I'll tell you this point. Even when you are selling the copper, to Glencoe themselves, they could charge 15% marketing fees. Oh, wow. So there was literally nothing. That's why Mopani was, the, was the in ICU. Mm -hmm. So what we did as government is to say, first number one, because the Glencoe debt was a python. Yeah. No investor was interested to in dealing forward. with us until we dealt with the Glencoe deal. Okay. So when uh, uh, we started looking for now an equity partner a partner yes not that we are selling the asset mm -hmm. we needed somebody to dive in bed with us over mopan yes so we said for you to come as a partner with us on this asset you need to give us a clear roadmap mm -hmm. on how we will help each other in dealing with the glencoe debt yes because that is the biggest python so a lot of people expressed interest. Others were coming with 10%, 90. You know, say, no, us, you give us 90. Others were coming with 20, 30%. We said, no. This is something that in inverted courts we have 100%, mm -hmm. but of course with this debt. With the debt. Yeah. So we, we now said, okay, we'll look at the best options. From 13, it was dropped down to. 
to eight to four in the process because the way the process was running was very transparent and there are booklets okay. on all the steps that we were taking okay. and how we are scoring these various you know interested parties to become strategic equity partners so we we, we have enough we even have scores on how mm -hmm. we are scoring them so IRH from Abu Dhabi also came in through in the, 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 the their bid and when we looked at it we said this is interesting mm -hmm. because they said we have looked at what Glencoe is saying is their money yeah. in in the books mm -hmm. and we are going to pay this but we need to work together as partners to renegotiate this downwards okay. from 1.7 billion dollars mm -hmm. because they had proposed that they will bring in 620 million dollars equity and that is why the shareholding is ah, higher for them one percent okay why because they are bringing in that money yeah. it's like we have a company with you mary and then uh, in that company you own the company yes you have no money mm -hmm. then me i say I have 500 kwach. Mm -hmm. I'll put in, we'll share 50 50. But because you, I'm you have not, in. I'm bringing in cash, uh -huh. which will also be your money yes. now because it's equity, it's not a debt. I see. Yeah. So I'll bring in 500 kwach. So because of that, I need to have more so that I recover slowly what I have put in as equity, which will also be part of your money. And then at board level, in terms of how the board will be structured our numbers must be 51 percent mm -hmm. yours as 49 okay. but we'll still be sharing the profits as such so uh, that is, uh, has this partnership has it got a, a time frame no okay. the time frame is we, we have it's a it's an agreement you mm -hmm. sign mm -hmm. we signed an agreement with them mm -hmm. we are joint venture partners so going forward this is how we are going to work and it's one of the reasons why that argument by opposition leaders mm -hmm. of saying no this is illegal they haven't followed that code 210 and what what mm -hmm. what sometimes you, you you wonder how people want to bring arguments in the public domain because as a government even you yourselves as ZNBC yeah. you have structures mm -hmm. i know you have a legal department yes. which looks at certain decisions we have the chief uh, legal advisor of government who is the attorney general mm -hmm. who will tell us okay this deal if it has to be done the legal way of doing it is a b c d x y z don't break the law on that point on that point and this process must be followed to the latter and that's what we've been doing mm -hmm. so when these arguments are brought about and and the uh, you know, in, in wanting to be relevant, mm -hmm. you are actually the campaigning yourselves. If I were actually member the campaign manager, mm -hmm. I would advise that member fire your political advice. <laughs> now, Minister, why, what does this mean for, for, for the Zambian people, this partnership? Especially and also on areas of uh, income inflow, because earlier you mentioned that previously, uh, they had everything belongs they could decide mm -hmm. what to mm -hmm. do with mm -hmm. what they mine today indeed yeah what does it mean for the people of Zambia? in in parallel people i uh, please government. also allow me because there yes. are also so many lies yes so when i drift yes, into these opposition yes. leaders mm -hmm. it's because they have you been need lying to correct the narrative. for a, yeah for example yes. that uh, president taka india has sold the mine to, to himself, himself. Mm, I saw that. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. They are also lying that Mopani has only been sold for $130 million. We haven't sold Mopani. We haven't. Mm -hmm. We are joint venture partners. We are 49% in there. Mm -hmm. How do you sell something, then you are still in it? Mm -hmm. Then you haven't sold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I say I sell you this car, but the chair is mine. Mm -hmm. And the part of half, half of the engine is mine. Then you haven't sold it. So we haven't sold Mopani. Okay. We have JV'd with our colleagues from Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. And they are saying this company doesn't, they, we don't even know where it is coming from. I said, what? What you saw coming there are actually leaders in the Abu Dhabi structure. Mm -hmm. That company is sitting, the, the parent company is sitting on an asset portfolio of over $200 billion. Mm. They are big, they are massive. So it is, and uh, you know that uh, at some point, uh, when we were doing these, uh, you know, uh, gradings, yes. they were, uh, they came first, second, then we looked at various issues. How does now President Taka Inde comes in and that he has sold to himself? Mm. Where is the relationship? 
and they are also bringing in uh, the DRC president. How, how bad can somebody think Ubufi Wakuleta Walai Walaleta Munakateka or Chalo Chimbi? Yeah. That is so wrong. Yeah. I want to come to you because the question you asked is very important. But I also want to 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 make sure that address them. As I talk to the Yes. You should. Indeed, as I talk to the country to to look at the benefits, I must also make sure the country is aligned in thinking. That's why to feed it to feed the baby a piece of my buffy. Pantuna Chubakari Pat Copper Belt is back to life. So they want to find a way to create a certain negative narrative around it. No matter what Kwan Shavale Lovedi Auma. So the benefit now, the question that you asked, number one, Mopani was in ICU, now it's back to life. What does that mean? Number one, direct jobs mm -hmm. to our people. They will be paid their salaries on time. Mm -hmm. All right? Then number two, suppliers and contractors, mm -hmm. because they are also a critical component. I'm, I'm sure you as journalists, you followed the cries of the people around Mopani, even KCM yes. itself, is that contractors, we are not being paid, they, they could go to the streets, but mm -hmm. because we are a focused leadership and we said, okay, then they'll stop crying. And what we did was to bring life to it. So now, contractors and suppliers, as it stands now, Mopani is current mm -hmm. in terms of payments. Okay. So, we have 30 days to pay, mm -hmm. but they are basically current in terms of pay. Meanwhile, there is now liquidity mm -hmm. in the local economy because it's all suppliers and contractors have been paid. Okay. Yes. So, um, then the other thing that was very critical in our discussions was beneficiation, value addition. Okay. We want now to go That's downstream. Very because we, we, we seem not to leverage much on our copper because we're exporting raw materials oh. and off takers those days are over. Would create more jobs. I can tell you that now those days are over. We'll be happy to see. Because that. the discussion on the we are even advanced in terms of forming a special purpose vehicle that will do number one, beneficiation, number two, even mineral trading. Okay. We are going to do that as Zambia mm. because we realize that, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you look at the producers of copper and the dealers or the traders, mm -hmm. who is richer? Mm -hmm. It's the traders. It's the traders. So we also want to go there. Why is there more value there? Mm. So we as a country also want to go there. Not that we would disturb other minds. We we'll also do it in our way. We have shares. If I have forty nine percent, I can tell you, for example, for the forty nine, give me nine percent in terms of the metal itself. I can do a negotiate like that. I'm giving that as as an example. example. Mm. Yes. So we are going that route. Now what that means is that there will be more jobs again created because now in the support industries for beneficiation, for trading will now be all over. And that will rejuvenate not only the, the, the economy on the copper belt. And <coughs> when you look at mining today mm -hmm. and look at the economy of Zambia, you can see that the depression on the copper belt has reflected the whole country. Yes. Because that's where we depend. So mm -hmm. the rejuvenation of the copper belt, that's why the opposition are panicking. Because they know that now the economy will be kick-started. Yeah. Mm. Operations and expected outputs? For Mopani mind? now... Mm. The target, if you heard from the, the, the CEO, mm -hmm. we are saying we need to now ramp it up to 230,000 metric tons. Okay. That is adding up to the 3 million tons that is our target. And that's why we are saying we'll reach that target because we are ramping up different mines. Even KCM, very soon I'll be back on this program. You'll be asking me about mm -hmm. how we are progressing on KCM. I was actually about to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Just so briefly. Let, yeah, let me finish the Mopani one. Okay. Uh, because this narrative must be clear. Mm -hmm. So that is the benefit. It means that the common person on the street will now see the ripple effect of, you know, uh, miners being paid on time. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure even conditions of service will be looked at. Mm -hmm. you know. There's always been a cry around, yes, we have this shareholding, 49%, mm -hmm. and the people getting jobs. But yes. then uh, there's always been a cry that, look, let's look at the quality of the jobs, which determine the, the, the amount of income. Of course, mm -hmm. the... 
the, the, the sector, of course, demands different levels of employment. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the top part. Mm -hmm. Who would like to see Zambians also taking part? Because the narrative has been that the top jobs are not for Zambia. Now, that is exciting, and I'm glad you reminded me of that. So when you look at Mopani today, <coughs> sorry, guys, I'm, I'm just recovering from a flu. Okay. Um, when you look at uh, Mopani now, mm. they have maintained the same CEO, the same structure is there. Mm. Why? They are not naive. We used to tell them during negotiations, all the bidders, that as you do what you're doing, be mindful that Zambia has been mining since the 1900s. So meaning we have the resource, we have the capability to run a mine. Sometimes it's just you know, capacity in terms of resources. So make use of the Zambian engineers. Because, Mary, these Zambian engineers KCM, Mopani, they sustained the mines under very difficult conditions. There was no money. Meaning the guys have, have it in themselves. It's just issues of bring money, we run this mine. Mm. So basically as Zambia, and, and Zambians must thank us for being very creative by bringing a JV partner who has money, we have the capacity in terms of the human resource, and that's why they have maintained Charles Sakanya and his team at Mopani. Of course, they will tinker with it a bit, mm -hmm. because we are a team, so there has to be tinkering. Anyone who is inefficient, because mining, you want efficient people. You want you know, uh, procurement structures that are efficient and that are corrupt-free, corruption-free. So uh, they, 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 they will tinker around, but they have maintained the human resource. And one other point that I want to make, that Glencoe date, mm which we were talking about, we negotiated from 1.7 billion to 400 million dollars. Mm. It's already been paid to Glencoe. Mopani has already received, the, le, let me just say that as it stands now, Delta Mining has already injected 620 million dollars into Mopani. Because I was about to ask to say, uh, do we still have any elements of Glencoe left? No, under Mopani? no. Mm. No. So the weight is off the shoulders. The python has you been can killed. Go to bed happily. Too much. Peacefully. Too much. Okay. And uh, I cannot tell you how excited I am mm. because that is one aspect that gave me sleepless nights. Mm -hmm. If you followed the, the, my uh, engagements with the media when we started, mm. I could say mm. whoever signed this bill, I mean this deal mm. for Glencoe, was a criminal. That's what I used to say. Mm. But uh, that is what under the bridge now. Mm -hmm. Because we have bridged the gap. We have, you know, spoken with Glencoe. We are friends now. We've told them you can trade in Zambia, but on our terms, mm -hmm. on good terms, and, mm -hmm. and not what happened in the past. So we bury the hatchet. We look forward to working together in a way that is beneficial to the, us Zambians and whoever is, is, is working with us. Mm -hmm. So that Python is no longer there. Mm -hmm. It's cleared. Which is from 1.7 billion to that amount and already paid by our you know partners that's why we said that's why we said can we jv together yes. you you have money me i have this asset yes. i'll give you this number of shares yes. for purposes of you recovering your investment your return on investment yes. yeah yes. um can we safely say that now with such de you know, development the mining sector can then be able to contribute as expected to the Zambian economy and then also uh, discussions are around the law that governs mining in this country yes. uh, is this clear now that the country can now then benefit uh, you know at, you know, yeah that is what we are doing and and you know i'll tell you this the truth of the matter is in the beginning we benefited from the mining sector we were benefiting mm -hmm. those of us who've grown on the copper belt which i know you are a sports guy i see you on sport mm -hmm. if you look at the mining sector on the copper belt depressed football clubs on the Copa Bell depressed. You've seen it as reflected on the whole sport in the country. Mm -hmm. So now that the, 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 the sector is coming back to life, those benefits we used to have, the houses we had in the past, the good roads in the townships, we are coming from the mining sector. We lost it on the way because leaders became corrupt. Leaders began to compromise. Leaders began to go to bed with investors. Mm. And that messed us up. Now we want to redefine our relationships with all investors. Mm -hmm. We want a win-win situation. We want mutual respect on the table. We don't want slave-master relationship. We don't want all those things. That's why the 4951 is an example of how we want to proceed 
us as UPND government. Mm -hmm. And so going forward, you are going to see this. And that's why we are tinkering with the law as well. Mm -hmm. We are doing the Minerals Commission. It, mm -hmm. is, it has gone past second reading in Parliament. It will now replace the Mines and Minerals Act of 2015. Why we are doing that is after benchmarking with various countries in how they did it, we feel bringing in a, a regulator will help us to regulate the sector, okay. to bring more integrity. We don't want understatement of production figures. Mm -hmm. And also, we want to actualize benefits from everyone who is mining in Zambia. Because Zambia, I think, has a lot of leakages. And through the structures that we are putting in place, it means that we now need to bring back sanity mm. in the sector and integrity. Then you'll see benefit. Yeah. You won't see benefit by going on the the law must compel them. You mm. spoke about value addition yes. in this particular case for Mopani. Do we see this uh, being translated into other mines in this country? Because Definitely. ultimately this is what is going to create uh, sustainable Definitely. jobs. If you've heard President Taka in the Ichilema almost on every platform talking about mining, the word value addition is always in the vocabulary because that is where we see us getting more value as 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 a, of course the taxes mm -hmm. you know the royalties and all that but value addition beneficiation uh, mineral trading those are key things that this government wants to pursue mm. um we we we'll, we'll, nowadays were we'll sort of just uh, you wake up you hear no they've discovered something this side yes mm -hmm. uh, yes how, m how much are you investing yes. in thank this you very much sure yes. thank you as, as secured mm -hmm. yeah you guys are like you are you are you are opening my <laughs> uh, the book in my in my brain yes. very important question mm -hmm. so the reason why we have that is because the country was not doing any mapping any exploration so mm. It's unconventional exploration, actually. Okay. Because you, as you are digging or cultivating, you may hit a rock that mm. could be gold mm -hmm. or copper or whatever. So that is also exploration on its own. Because exploration is basically drilling holes to find out what is there. Yeah. So now, what we have done as the UPND government is, number one, we have increased allocation to the mining sector from 8 million kwacha to 168 million. Mm. So that is about 600% mm -hmm. increase in terms of allocation mm -hmm. in this year budget. It's little money, but mm -hmm. it's important that we show that as much as mining is so important, we must give it as much resources as possible because it anchors our economy even yes. now. Yes. So this year, will be announcing the mapping of the whole Zambia. Okay. We have advanced in procuring uh, the company that will do it, and they are going to fly over the country to map. Mm. Now mapping, I know from the word you know, yes. to now draw the lines as mm. to where, for example, in Copper Belt, the minerals are this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Then now, we now sit with investors and says, on the copper belt, if you want to do exploration, concentrate on yes. this area. Yeah. Our map is doing this. And this is what, it's an expensive venture. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost us in millions of dollars, maybe 80, 90 million dollars. It's worth it. But it's worth it yes. because it will now show you the real value. That's why now we have discoveries all over because the country went to sleep. Mm. Now, under UPND, we have woken up. Mm. We have come with a new drive and zeal, and we want to get real value from our minerals. It is only when you do the right things, put systems in place, have right policies, and all that, we have done all that. The interest for Zambia today is unbelievable, but it requires leaders who are focused, who are not excited, leaders like ourselves, who sees that how to get value out of something is not by shouting on the rooftop, but by putting systems in place that will trigger value. Mm. And that's what we are doing. Mm. We'll let you um, conclude by addressing any other issue that we may have left out. Okay. 
any other issue, I'll go politics. <laughs> <laughs> May I wish I'll control you if you get out of here. Yes. We can go on. Yeah, I know your bosses when I'm seated here. So. <laughs> <laughs> go Number on. one, mm -hmm. opposition leaders, when something good is done, just appreciate. Okay. Where you feel we could have left out some information, approach us as government, we work together because some of you, you want to thrive on insala yabantu atolombe popular. That's not it. Mm. We need to develop this country. And developing this country, every brain is important. Even positive criticisms, we take them, we listen, we hear. Mm -hmm. Whatever we are doing now, some of the things, it's because of the criticisms that have been going on. Can we get more value from our minerals? This is what we are doing. So, if you feel like you are a Kupanga president, you are a Monica Kwati, you are a Mubepe Shokumu, you are a Mashina, you are a please, you are being too cheap. It's being too cheap. Because there is even no proof. Mm -hmm. And when I go through social media and check the comments, people have literally refused. So stop it. It's not going to take you anywhere. Whoever you are, you are Membe, you are Mwamba, whoever political party, it's not going to take you anywhere. This is time to develop the country. Sometimes let's get away from the politics and develop. Zambians are very well protected in the Mopani deal. 49% shares and 50, it's, it's a JV. We have not sold Mopani for 130. 130 was just actually the very first uh, uh, money that came into Mopani. And these people had shown goodwill before tatula puiriki shafionzi oksaina impia na shambokuisa that's goodwill mm -hmm. you know so sometimes let us get away from being petty you are being petty and cheap and zambi muka ekopa beo timu avena muambana avena membe muka ebeba bantu ati mopani diu tu ikanse they will skin you alive <laughs> because they are the miners are so excited mm. the people around it are so excited they are singing praises tamlefua wale lumba ka indebakula mulumba Minister, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. We're supposed <laughs> to be celebrating. <laughs> yes. We're supposed to be celebrating the dinner. We are Indeed. having emotional. So let's just leave. <laughs> Congratulations on this deal. And thank you. And we look forward to more yeah. such news in this country. Yes. We need to revive the economy. Indeed. We, we have to. So yes. le, you journalists, my appeal to you, let's work together. Mm -hmm. To tell the narrative where we are wrong as government. Call us, Minister, clarify on yes. this point. I was grateful that you made time this morning. Indeed. All right. This Indeed. is Morning Live. We take Thank a short you. break. On the other side, we have sports with Jason Q and Yotes.